Welcome. Turn that off. Hello, welcome back to Tuesday Night Commander. We're going to be playing Oathbreaker. Pass me that. I said it. I turned it on. Oh, I'll okay. get back to it in okay. a second. Uh, okay, we're just grabbing stuff. Trying to get our stuff set for our life total should be at 20, 25 for Pauper. And everybody's shuffling up. We're getting all ready and stuff. I am Jeffro. You guys know me around town in Madison. I'll be playing a lot of <coughs> events coming up soon. We've got next month Game Hole Con. Soon we'll be setting up for a... Uh, We'll be setting up for uh, No Brand, or no, that's uh, just passed. We just got back from No Brand, but we're going to be doing um, Colossal Con in uh, November, hopefully. Hopefully, we're still in the works on that, setting that up. So this week, I am trying to get in there with Heavy Burn. We're going to set up Chandra Torch of Defiance, and my signature spell is going to be a little bit of Faithless but Looting. Uh, we're trying to get there with a good spread of burn and see if I can hit everyone. I've always wanted to play that common sizzle. Uh, two cast and cost that deals four to each player. Uh, I wanted to also play the other one that's two cast and cost and three damage to each player as well. Um, that'll be really cool. I wonder if they've a rat at that to hit planeswalkers also. Anyway, what are you playing over there? Uh, same thing I play every week. Try to take over the world. Uh, <laughs> Nicol Bolas and the other spell. Uh, no changes since last week. <laughs> uh, hey, I'm Nick, back after uh, game one. Today I'm playing Space uh, Space Bellerin, uh, which is a uncard. Um, he okay. deems to control the space of the game boards. Uh, my singer spell is going to be Fractured Identity, uh, which just lets me exile everyone else's things to the deepest reaches of space. Um, expect to see a lot of uh, control uh, with this deck. But I don't want to get lost in space. Oh, but it's my favorite Power Rangers. No. That's where we're going. No. All right, I am back playing. I, I play test like a deck every month if I can. And uh, what I've been playing recently, this will be the third time I'm trying this Dak Fade and Argent Mutation. Um, stealing artifacts, making things artifacts I want to steal, and generally playing broken blue, red stuff. <laughs> Are you telling me is it has broken so spells? So we did uh, win the roll. I uh, believe I won the roll. You are going to go first. Oh yeah. I meant to say someone won the roll, but I said we run the roll. And we that's not we true. all won. It. We all yes. won. Yes. yes. <laughs> we finished the roll, so I, I feel like I won something. Class. So why don't you start us off, Ozzy? All right. I will draw a card. Oh, that's a terrible card to draw. Oh wait, I'm going first. This is a terrible card, no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what it could be. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. If only there was some pre-game action to help me with that. I mm -hmm. will play the Scalding Tarn um, and cast Ragavan and put a Lotus Petal into play. That is really hot. I think that's all I'm going to do. So You could have just Dak Fade in the first turn. No, I couldn't. You could have tapped your mana, used your Lotus Petal, used your Dak Fade, and put him to play. It costs three. Yeah, and that produced, oh, I thought this was the Gilded Lotus. Yeah, I keep forgetting we're an Oathbreaker. <laughs> That's banned an Oathbreaker. Oh, uh, we had a classic algebra misfunction. It's fine. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> he, he didn't play for the combination of he didn't have the card and B is banned. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I have to get. There uh, was layers of problems I have there. to get a mountain because the land I wanted to get is in my hand. <laughs> the non-basic mountain. He's going to tell us his entire hand through vague references. Yes, yes. <laughs> Just wait for the April Fool's joke. And then I'll pass the turn. All right, let's uh, top deck for my upkeep. Like and I will take this over there and put this over there and that on top of that. Thank you. And then after drawing for my turn, I'm going to set down a Fable Passage mysteriously and then pass turn. <clears throat> All right, and I'm going to draw for my Magic the Gathering turn. And <laughs> is that what we're doing? That's what we're doing. Ah, Blood crit, take two. Ooh, Ooh. he's shocking. Mm. Shock. Strike it rich, make a treasure. Okay. Nice. That's turn. And that's got buyback for, um, or flashback for three? Mm -hmm. For three. Okay. Uh, untap, okay, draw. I'll draw for my Magic the Gathering turn. Because... That's what Land for the turn. Mox Diamond, Pitching, and Island. Nice. Mm, mm, mm. Look at all that. 
I know, right? Look at look at all those things. Look at all that stuff. All the things. What life are you at? Uh, I am currently at twenty. Oh, I saw you were gonna pay life. No, no, I don't need to pay life for Mox. Uh, pay two talisman of progress. What does that say? Talisman of progress is pay t uh, is a uh, tap add a colorless or tap add blue or white, and I take one damage. Hmm. Yeah. So it's like a nice little pain land on a stick. Okay. I will use my Fable Passage on your turn when you do that, and it'll just be a mountain that'll come to play tapped. Excellent. I will pass my turn. Ozzy, you are up. So that's interesting. The question is, I'm going to play this duel land. I know everyone's shocked that I have it now. Gosh. Hmm. Shocking. I think that your deck has the most stuff that I want to play, because it's okay. most similar to my deck. So, so the, this, this cute Drills. little monkey is going to try to swindle you Get in for two damage. How about a Cyclonic Rift? <laughs> oh! Dang! Call he's back to last he's game. Gotta, he's got to cast it this turn. Right, or it remains exiled, right? right? Well, that seems like an okay thing to have exiled as well. Um, I have this treasure over here sitting that hanging out really here. That sounds really good. I already dealt with two of those in the last game. So let me think. <laughs> um, I don't think that is worth taking. It doesn't seem like it. Nice. So, one, two, three. I'll use this treasure, which is temporary. I cast Act Faden, and I think I'll take that Mox Diamond over there. Wow! Wow! Wait, how'd you do that? Oh, Act Faden, Faden yeah. just gets to steal your artifacts. <laughs> that's not that's fair. Uh, when that when he dies, do I get it back? No. no. Oh, it's just forever. Yeah. Right? yeah. Uh, that's it's unfortunate for you. Is it? It will be. Oh no. Um, and with that, I'm going to pass turn. I untap my vapor wave snow covered mountain and draw for my upkeep. I like I that will card. I wanted to use it. For play a snow covered mountain. <laughs> I will tap for two. I had plans. And I will put down a altar sleeve ruby medallion. Yeah. And I will pass turn with that. Yeah, I didn't want that card. <clears throat> I do have to watch out for this guy over here. <clears throat> Untap. Mm -hmm. I'm about to win. That's what I'm afraid of. Mm -hmm. What's up? That's a, that's a bold statement there. Um, We're barely on turn two. <laughs> yeah. No. He only needs a couple turns. Um, my commander. <laughs> Sadness. I'm not dissatisfied that the Psychrift is gone. I am not either. Um, I don't know if you heard me, but I had to deal with two Overload Cyclonic Rifts in the last game. Talisman of Creativity. Oh, maybe I want to steal that one next turn. Yeah, you are big enough to do it. There's you, a way I can do tiny it. Little, I, have, I have a way to do it. You tiny little shrimp. I assume I, that's is it version of my progress, yes? Okay. I just need to that's proliferate and, and uh, it's all good. Uh, He's just going to take your treasure, that's all. Draw. I mean, that's a smart point. Stay away from my treasure. I'm going to sack this Lotus Petal right now and do a Mystical Tutor. Mm, rude. Play land for the turn. I'm gonna go get a very boring fierce guardianship. That's good. <laughs> Pay one, shock myself for one, produce white. Um mystical tutor. Mm. It's gonna go on top of my dog library. Okay. I will play Dreadth Magistrate for my turn. My opponents can't cast spells from anywhere other than their hands. Okay. I'm, I'm okay with that, relatively. Right now, yes. I'm still okay with it. I'm, re I'm relatively okay That's with that. Good. good. After you yeah, because they already have their... Because I already got my commander out, I, so I know. that's important. It's better, fine. better remove that. All right. I drew my Fierce Guardianship. I will play... Let's go ahead and... Let me think here. How big is that guy? He is currently a 1-3. A 1-3. Very big. And very you slow. have lots of stuff out. You're very slow for some reason, it seems like. Oh, yeah. But you're, you're about to be, but you're about to put your commander out. Are you, you think I have lots of stuff out? I don't. These are not in play. I know. This is my I know. I know. Lands you have, and two are back. Oh, so you guys are similar, but he's about to... But I know that... Let me think. Let me think. I got this. I got that. Your commander's coming out. Your commander ramps. He can't cast his commander. Oh. Yeah. Oh, we were just locked oh. out from Oh, that. yeah. Pay attention. In that case, 
I'm gonna get a swing at you again for two. Because you have the best stuff out of your deck that I want to cast. Because you have similar stuff to what I Vampiric want. Vampiric Tutor. <laughs> Vampiric Tutor. Wow! Oh. I believe that was the correct hit. That feels good. Take two. I can't cast it. Nope. That's why you can exile it. But no, you, you get a treasure, so you can cast it with your I treasure. can't cast oh. it because of that. Drain it. Yeah. Uh, it's not in their hand. It's oh. not in their hand. <laughs> but you still have to discard it, which yeah, is right. good. Uh, and then exile, right? Yep. Yep. Or yes, exiled. I will pump this up one. Well, that's oh, a rude combination. <laughs> Draw two cards and discard two cards. One, two. I did say they wouldn't like left both playing on this side of the table. Oh, I'm gonna discard this gemstone caverns. Oh, who would have thought you had that? <laughs> mm -hmm. And I'm gonna discard <clears throat> this. Um, uh, I don't need. <laughs> This Shivan Reef, because I don't need that kind of damage. Three cards you got in your hand? I have three. Three? Okay, cool. Are you discarding a hand size? No, I discard two cards because I drew two and discarded okay. two. Loot. Okay. Loot, yeah. And then you've got one artifact I can steal next turn if I really, really want it. Okay, I'm gonna pass. All right, let's untap, upkeep, and draw. <laughs> that was not the card I was looking for. These are not the droids. So currently, there's only a <coughs> Draineth Magistrate and a Ragavan out. Yeah. Oh no, you're not killing my little guy, are you? That is I don't know. I was hoping there was going to be more, but there's. Yeah. I have but one creature and then a um, a symbol of Azorius power. Well, now I know not to cast more creatures. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> you read that all wrong. I am thinking. Let us put down. A Ramanat Ruins. That didn't even come intact? Wow. Uh, nice. Does something say it comes into play? No, no, no. I, I'm not familiar with that card. That's Okay, why. cool. What, what does it actually do? A Ramanat Ruins, I can uh, <laughs> use it for colorless. I played that deck. Or I can use its second ability and take a life and produce red. Okay. Or I can use the fourth, uh, third okay. ability and pay four, tap it, sacrifice a desert, and deal all my opponents too. Okay, interesting, interesting. Cool. Cool. Mm. I played Ramanat Red Let and us standard. use one red mana. And I'm going to cast a Pyromancer's Ascension. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell that has the same name as a card in your graveyard, you may put a quest counter on Pyromancer's Ascension. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, uh, while Pyromancer's Ascension has two or more quest counters on it, you may copy that spell and choose new targets for the copy. So, so, so it basically doubles instants and sorceries that you cast if you have another copy? or. A what is it? Uh, it will cast a copy. Based on the number are in your graveyard? If I have two counters on the Ascension, and I have one that's already in a copy. So when you so cast it. He's, he's playing a deck Dragon's that Approach. Can, that, I was gonna say, that can play more than one copy of a card. So, no, so that's, a, Dragon's Approach. that's the only card I can think of in that deck. Mm -hmm. So that's a big deal for Dragon's Approach, right? Well, right. there's only two cards you can have multiple copies of in red. What's the other one? The Dwarves. You oh, can have seven, the Dwarves. Seven, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but that's the only instant or sorcery spell. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, the question is, how many cards are in your hand? Five. Does everybody else pass priority? No, on? no, uh, only. Well, yeah, I pass priority. I pass priority. I'm deciding. Well, let me get ready to counter. Decisions have been made. I think I'm gonna make you counter it. You'll counter it. Oh, you're not gonna counter my counter? Oh, no, okay. that was the bait. Yeah, I, I accept the bait. <laughs> I accept that bait. That's that's a strong enough card that I have to do. I'm, you're welcome, table. I no, appreciate you. They don't. They I, don't understand I mean, what you just did. I, I mean, he's a master baiter, but you caught him on that one. That was... <laughs> <laughs> that's a strong enough card I can't I ignore. Head of my debate team. <laughs> I can't. Good count, I can't ignore. That's too strong. It's good. It's good. Um, it, it, on your it was turn, a Chad, you'll be able to produce. If you drop a land, you'll have five mana, right? Correct. And your commander is how much Doesn't mana? matter, Jonathan has straight. Yes, it does matter for me. Oh, okay, uh, uh, five. Okay, so you could cast your commander in your turn, and then what would be your uptick? Uh, Destroy draw a card. No. Oh, draw a card. Draw a card, okay. everyone discards a card. Okay, and then the other one would be destroy a planeswalker? Or creature, target creature and planeswalker. Fantastic. I think we can work together. I'm in for it. I'm gonna pay two and I'm gonna use Brotherhood's End. Does this resolve? 
Can you tell me what that it does? That does three damage, right? Uh, it's possible. It depends on if it resolves. Yeah. Oh, you get to choose. You have to choose it when, it, when you cast it? No. When it resolves. Choosing is a part of its All resolution. Right. I'm, I'm, yes, you're. I, 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 could, you guys, could, could you read it? What does it do? Choose one of these two things. Destroy all artifacts with mana value three or less, or deal three damage to each creature and each planeswalker. Okay. okay. I pass. I pass priority. I pass priority. All right. Three damage. Two. Creatures and uh, planeswalkers. Two so creatures and planeswalkers. Yep. <coughs> that's fair. <clears throat> Not sorry about the Draineth. I mean, that's fine. It, 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 it seems like a good pass idea. Pass turn. All right. Did I miss a land drop? Because I'm dumb. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I can't. You, I mean, you you definitely threw one in your graveyard. No, no, I forgot to play a land on my turn. No, no, I'm saying you, you, you made a big deal about like throwing one away, oh, but two you, you, you may not have played one. So I chose not to play one of these lands because I'm dumb. You, you made it. Right, all right. Let's put it this way: decisions were made. You're mm -hmm. just being you're being oh. conservative with your resources. Yeah. Oh my gosh, He's trying to hold bad. on. Bad. He's worried about that Armageddon. land destruction. You know, yeah. it's Armageddon or something. Yeah. Bad player I am. You have the land destruction. Your land destroys things. I was so excited to steal the better. thing that right I forgot to cast the land down. Right now, what's your how? This planeswalker should be dead. It's got a counter on it. Uh, how many counters? It had two, right? So this is going to cost one, two additional mana no, to no, play. No, he, no, he's back in the clan zone. Oh, wait. I thought it was in the battlefield. No, no. So you have a total of four mana to cast your two mana planeswalker. Is that correct? I have four mana available, and I definitely have a land in hand I didn't play last round because I'm dumb. Hey, I, I, I feel like all this self beat up stuff. We, you know, you're better than that, man. Woo. Um, we'll get there. Let's. You uh, fight when we had a brain. Yeah, I mean, we know how this line worked last time, but we're going to do it again. Three, four, the one ring. Sure. Yes. <sighs> I don't know that that's worth stealing. I like you it. You did last time. Yeah, but with that, after I stole it, I wasn't happy with the mm. end result of it. You know, that's mm. what, don't we wish more, more thieves were like that when they stole, we, they were just happy with those life decisions? Mm hmm Or unhappy with them? Go ahead. So I, I have, uh, I am a protection from everything until the, my you next You do, turn. but your stuff doesn't. Right. Yeah. So when, when you have protection from something, what is it that you cannot do to the player? You can't target them. You can't, they don't take any damage from your stuff. Mm -hmm. That's it. You can't target them, you can't do any damage with your stuff to them. Protection, yeah, it does uh, mitigate that. Just those two things. So if it said like all players- That's still fine. Mill like 10 cards. Yep. Cool. So if it says all players mill 60 cards, it would still work. Cool. But you can't deal them damage, right? You can't target them or deal damage to them. Correct. Yeah. Well, well, I think the damage goes to zero. I think that's technically what happens. Unless it says you can't be prevented. Raven throwing shade in the chat. All right, Raven. I know where you work. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Wait for them. What are you casting? I was talking earlier where I said I was going to buy you a gesture. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. Uh, three mana for Strixhaven Stadium. Ooh. Uh, tap to add a mana and put a point counter on Strixhaven Stadium. Whenever a creature deals combat damage to me, I remove a point counter from Strixhaven Stadium. Whenever a creature I control deals combat damage to an opponent, put a point counter on Strixhaven Stadium. Then, if it has 10 or more point counters on it, remove them all and that player loses the game. So it, can, it, can, tap for it can tap for mana? Yeah, it's a mana rock. It's a mana rock that with a win condition. On uh, a mana rock of any color? A lose condition. Uh, it is uh, with a lose condition. Yes. Um, it is uh, colorless mana. Colorless mana, okay. Okay. Um, and I will pass my turn. All right. Yes, it is, it is functionally just a mana rock. I like okay. it. I was going to put it in my bear stack. Right. It's an interesting Bears. card. I had to read it a couple times to understand how it works in a multiplayer format. Since we lost the uh, quarterback that shall not be named, <clears throat> I was going to make a pack rat deck mm. and put packer sleeves on it oh, and yes. then put the stadium in there mm. and uh, specifically like you know try to get them to play That's football. Fun. If it makes you feel better, um, uh, you're not the only team that lost a quarterback that should not be named. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I've seen teams like that. How many quarterbacks did the Bears go through? I was more talking about the fact that Jets lost the same one. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So you can play your commander mm -hmm. next turn. Yeah. And, and well, it I can want leftovers, let me tell you. 
Will it be worth it, Raven? Will it be worth it? I think it will be. I have I have pretty thick skin. I, I don't think Raven would have to worry about their job. What they might have to worry about is lots of garbage. Deep. I'm gonna down tick. <laughs> I'm gonna down tick to steal your talisman. Whoa! Mine or Chad's? Chad's, because Chad's has colors that I want. Ah, uh, wow. colors I don't want. I am very surprised. Oh, that's great. You could have. Well, I guess you can't take the token because they'll just. He'll just sack it. it. Yeah. 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 So what does the one ring do? Do you mind trying? Yeah, please. The, no. one, the one ring I stole last time, and it was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. I just took lots of damage from it, and it didn't help me a lot. Yeah, it doesn't even have a requirement of the size so of So I was just disappointed by it. So therefore, I'm not stealing it either. That seems very interesting. It's Oops. actually really good. It's yeah, really that really seems good. very interesting. I like that it has a punishment effect to it. I will pass turn. I also like that Postmone has the one one ring, which makes me very happy that someone who <clears> plays has that card. Look at this card. card really bad. Like, would you? What would you do though? Would you just <clears> carry it around <throat> in the slab and like, when you like play it, like flap? I think what you do is if Postmone you have it mounted on a chain, yeah, and you just wear it as an accessory to when you go play it like, at the command zone or something. For and then sure. like it's proxy. Then when I play it, just so, yeah. if you were dealt damage right now by creatures. That's when that thing subtracts points, right? I guess I. Uh, but me? it has no counters on it now. It has no counters oh. on so it. So if you were dealt damage by a creature, what does it do? I now? remove counters from it. Right. So it doesn't have counters. Does anything happen when there is no counters? No. Gotcha. Oh, right. It is just a way for you to maintain that it does not get to 10. It's giving the opponent's options to right. uh, negate the win condition on it. But, but, but with all the sectors that his commander does, it makes it hard potentially to do stuff. To deal with that. Yeah, Correct. potentially. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. Um, though I am uh, interested in the fact that Space Bellerin can only choose three um, uh, sectors. So, is there any other creatures in play? There are zero creatures in play. You so did Chad's just about kill to them. put a creature or a planeswalker in, right? I don't know. I still, I still mana rock. Maybe not. Yeah, but that shouldn't slow him down. He should drop a land. He should put his commander down. Maybe. But, but in undefended, I mean, it's right. not, it, it doesn't protect itself. Right. And it needs the win con using it, I have to be fully powered. So hmm. putting it in early and without protection seems silly. Mm, it might yeah, get, just, I mean, it like, can get killed. Then it's value and value, of, I would probably do something else. <clears throat> is what I'm saying based off what's on the board. And, and that, that is why I did what I did. I think I like this better. It saves you off playing both at the I'm same gonna time. I'm going to use three mana, and I'm going to bring out Chandra. Yes, you will. And while bringing out Chandra, we're going to try to uptick, I think. That's yeah, that's reasonable for me. Are you going to get mana, or are you going to do something else? Well, if I do the mana, I can play stuff. Yep. But I don't know if I want to play it. Because if I play that card, yeah. Let's go for... Because if I do the uptick and exile the top, everyone else takes to accept chat, correct? I, I don't know what it says. Oh, it's if I don't cast it, um, it will deal two damage to each opponent. Oh, yes. And so then I would take two. You would take, Why Chad would, would take two. Each opponent. Of each. Each opponent. It's just like how- I thought damage is- No, no, it, think about like- um, It's targeted. Think about creature oh, that- Oh, you wouldn't take damage. Because you, you, you got protection from every- th from yeah, use protection. You know, just you have protection from everything. Yeah. yeah so he would have but protection. So, but isn't that isn't that the same thing? Like when it when you have protection from red, but it says destroy all creatures, it still kills. But it. that's destroy. It's not damage. It's not damage. Damage when you have protection is one hundred percent mitigated. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's you're like correct. my COP yeah. red. It's so not, good. You would not do damage fog. to Chad. You're correct. Yes, you have, you have functional fog on you for the turn. Yes. Well, so I will. But for all damage, generate fog. two mana from Chandra. Is what I'll do. Okay. Heard. So that's just clean, get two red mana. Mm-hmm. Okay. And with that, should I play this or that? I like this one better, actually. I will use this one than that. Yeah, that's how it works. We will use Dragon's Approach. Sure. <clears throat> that card sounded familiar. Um, does everybody understand it? Because I have English ones in here. I was hoping I wouldn't draw this one first. Otherwise, I, go on, give us the story. What's it do? Tell me about it. I'm going to grab it from the bottom of my deck just to switch it and then shuffle. Let's see. Sure. Right that works. That's fair enough. All right. Uh, there's my Dragon's Approach, and it says Dragon's Approach deals three damage to each opponent. Uh, you may exile Dragon's Approach and four named Dragon's Approach in your graveyard. 
if you do search a library for a dragon and put it to the battlefield, then shuffle. Yeah. Uh, I can have any number of them is what the last part says. So right. instead of dealing two to Chad, I'm not going to deal anything, or three, but it does three to the two of you. So yes. we each take three. One, two, three. And Chad, Thank you, one ring. Well, you and, are so powerful. And technically, Chad gets damage, but it gets reduced to zero. Right. Yeah. 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 The spell yeah. affects me, but yeah. to zero. Yeah. I just, am going to And play. that two mana is gone, right? Yeah, this, this man is going to yeah. disappear. Very good. I'm going to put down this awakening on its land side. Okay. But then pass the turn because it comes to play tapped. tapped. Yeah. End of turn, I'm going to one ring. So I'm going to tap it, put a burden counter on it. And draw a card. A burden counter, I draw a card, and then I will take the pain during my upkeep. Upkeep, correct. I'll tap upkeep, I will take one pain. Yep. I will draw That's for my draw do. step. Yep. One ouchies. Um, I'm going to play a Polluted Delta. I will go and get... Um, go get an Artifact Land. Yeah, that's <laughs> the one I want. That's 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 it. You figured yeah. out my tricks. Oh, <laughs> see the Synod? Sure. No, there's um, an Artifact Duel Land that he should go get so I could steal it. Yeah. No. <laughs> Feels reasonable. Nope. Nope, nope, so nope, nope, your nope. Planeswalker... <coughs> Can I get an Artifact out? Count? Please. Is, is out on the panel. Uh, two. What, what do we ask? Artifact count. Oh, I have two artifacts for a goblin. You got one? No, you would ask enchantments two. I have one. I have two. So there's five artifacts total is cool. your answer. Dock side? Well, then you should also you, uh, ask, ask enchantments. Your, your enchantments. Oh, enchantments two. I still only have two. My answer of a dock side count is one. So two. it didn't change. So it's still five. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a total of six. All right. Okay, now we're in trouble. Seems All possible. right. So now uh, I'm going commander. to attempt to cast my commander. Nice. Game's over. Nice. Uh, down to one. We'll just use all that. Do you have any responses? This is the time. Yeah, if you have a response, now is the time. I have no response for this. Oh. Wow. Ozzy, is it up to you? You have your free counter spell ready for the. Oh, not Pyromancer. Yeah. No, I, I did not expect <laughs> that side out of nowhere. Uh, I will uh, attempt to uh, pay two to cast Elder Spell. Yep. And how does that work again? Uh, so I'm badly. going to destroy up as many planeswalkers as I want. I see two on the board. So I'd like to destroy both of the planeswalkers. Is that what the Elder Spell does? Yep. Mm -hmm. For each of the planeswalkers I destroy, I get two loyalty on a planeswalker of my choice. So you cast Elder Spell, priority goes to you. I have no response. I have no response. F6. Yep. All right. So I destroy two planeswalkers. You get, I get loyalty four on more your loyalty, guy. Uh, yep. Loyalty. Royalty. And then I do my alt eight. Yep. Uh, anyone who does not have a legendary creature or planeswalker loses the game. We said it. Dum dum dum. Good game. Yep. We said the game would end like that. Let's see. I'm both having I could have gotten anything off it. Yeah, that wouldn't have done anything. That was good and quick, and I felt like I did the right thing. I should not have countered your spell, apparently. I know you shouldn't have. <laughs> I was very happy you did. My I, God, Chad won. Yes. Uh, Sassy. I was, Sassy pants over here. No, no, no. I I'm was celebrating because you've been locked out with this deck several times, so I'm glad you finally get your game with it. I agree. No. Most I was, of the, oh, the breakers is one with it. Also, yeah. I'm surprised you managed to win. If, well, if, I, was, if I had mana open... Threat assessments that we were talking about. If I had about. mana open, nah. at all, I could have single target Psychrifted your, your Planeswalker in response to casting Elder Spell. Uh, yes. That yes. would work. Yes. That does yes. work. Yes. But okay. there was counter spells in Chad's hand. Yeah. I, was, I held a kind of sprawl, yeah. but it it is it was still a I I think this was a good example of how I play this deck enough now to know a couple of the lines and know that for instance I don't play nickel balls into an open field when, correct you know but I also was like doing my count and realizing that you stealing my artifacts was great actually as long as I held onto the dock side and yeah. I, you're right. You right. were actually supposed to steal my artifact instead of that uh, so, mana producer. But uh, but yeah, so again, uh, big difference between first game of the night where I did not know the neck very well and I <laughs> beamed myself a couple times in the... Only three. Uh, but then versus the deck I've played a couple games, now I'm starting to pick up and feel pretty confident with. So, hey, uh, this will be a quick swap. We're going to do some pauper last. Uh, hope you stay around. And also make sure you come back and check us out next week. I really want to see this... Dragon's Approach tech. I know he's put a lot of work into building this, so I wanna. I, I do kind of feel bad we didn't get to see it go off, no, but, uh, but I no, no, But I'm saying we gotta like come back and see that see that one happen because uh, Dragon's Approach in uh, this format could be pretty wild. Um, anyways, uh, stay tuned. We'll be back in just a couple minutes.